Okay, this is going pretty good here. Uh, another topic I was given because it doesn't matter who or what the topic is. Uh, it's, it's, uh, is is uh, I'll talk about anything. Uh, you want life? I can give you life. You know, you want some advice? I can give you some life advice. I can uh, philosophy. You want to talk philosophy? That's fine. You want to talk about wrestling? It's, probably going to be 90% of this. If I get funny stuff on uh, <laughs> with me and my wife, that's it. Here's an off-topic thing from Russell. <coughs> my buddy Tim. Tim O, good old Mordello. Came in with a good thing. Breaking it up. Love it, bro. Death Metal. Death metal to me is like it's relaxing. Let me try to fix this real quick. Death metal to me is relaxing. It is like it's like symphony. Okay, it's like classical music. Uh, I feel it. I'm a horror buff. Okay, I love horror movies. It doesn't matter. It, it does matter because, like, the Scream franchise, and I know what you did last fucking, what the fuck. Eh, I'm not big on those. Uh, your old school slashers, like your Jason, your, you know, your Freddies and shit like that. You're, you know, uh, even going to, uh, they haven't aged well, but, like, the Hellraiser. The Hellraiser it, it didn't start getting good until three, really. Um, but, you know, the thing the blob remake uh, stuff like that so it's like uh, I'm a horror movie buff I love good horror movies Evil Dead's one of my favorites I watch that all day every day doesn't matter but uh, the lyrics to death metal is like it doesn't matter if the guy's screaming or if he's doing a growl like Chris Barnes before, you know it, 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 it speaks to me. It speaks to a side of me that I that, that soothes my brain and my soul, which might be weird. You know, you might be like, oh, you know, how can you identify with any of that? I watch a lot of horror movies. I've studied serial killers, you know, like, not like studied, studied, but, you know, I find them interesting. I, I look into them stuff like that so it's like you know I, I i i it's not like i have first-hand experience but you know disemboweling somebody but i feel it because it's it's the it's 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 the feeling behind it of getting a release of anxiety or stress you know like people will always say Man, I wish I could just punch so and so in the face. When you listen to death metal, you, you do a little bit more than that. You don't punch so and so in the face. You stick them in the neck with a knife, and you go from left to right, and then you crack their head open like a Pez dispenser, and you rip out their spine. You know, and then you fling it around like you're Hercules Hernandez, and then you know you're like finish him. You know, it's like Mortal Combat. You know, it's like lyrical Mortal Combat. And some of it gets kind of crazy, like, you know, some guys uh, do songs about, like, you know, uh, open casket orgies and stuff like that. You know, you get a little bit crazy like that, but uh, death metal soothes me, and uh, I love it. Like, Cannibal Corpse, Six Feet Under, uh, guys like that, uh, they, they, it just soothes me. I can listen to that in the harmonics and just be like done with whatever's getting to me I'm done with it because this dude on the on these lyrics just assassinated so and so that I just can't stand or a feeling that I have uh, you know of uh, empowerment because you know if you study killers or anything else, there's a sense of empowerment that they get and satisfaction from when they 
do their thing. So like me vicariously through music gets that satisfaction without actually doing 25 to life. So it's kind of, it's soothing and it's, uh, it's therapeutic. A lot of people might disagree, but it is. And I listen to it uh, enough, you know, not so much right now, uh, you know, but I, I think it's a genre of music that gets slept on a lot um, because they're, oh, you're just growling or something like that. Well, listen to the song a few times and just like anybody else with an accent or something, you can pick up the words. It happens, you know. Like sometimes I gotta listen to a six feet under disc. Disc that tells you how old I am. Uh, a few times to pick up the words, to he hear them right. And that's not against. That's not a knock against, you know, Chris Barnes. Just just the way the vocals are recorded. And it's just you know sometimes I gotta go back, and uh, if I haven't listened to to a few songs in a while, I gotta listen to them again. To get it down unless I got it totally committed to memory and um, you know it's it's therapeutic death metal can be therapeutic uh, there's many genres of metal now from you know when I was a teenager so you know you got your pirate or your uh, folk metal you got all kinds of and they're good okay don't get me wrong they're good like like who was it? Uh, uh, Amen. I always screw this up. But Amen and Morat or something like that. They're like a Viking metal band. They're good. They're very good. I was surprised when I saw them live uh, because I've always heard. You know, a couple of friends and I uh, would play cards and listen to music, and I was like, man, these guys are good. Saw them live. They kicked ass. Okay. So like. You got different stages of metal, but death metal is like the one that everybody kind of, it's a default. It doesn't matter, you know, like the Viking metal will get lumped into death metal because that's what people think it is. You know, if you're not Metallica or Megadeth or, or like any of them guys that they consider metal, then you're death metal, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's, it's ridiculous. But the therapy behind death metal is there, uh, because it, it's it's a release, and that's what people need, and that's what you don't understand is that it's a release. It's like a horror movie in music form. It and sometimes if the lyrics are written very well, instead of blood, 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 rip your neck out, no. If they're written to the point where it's like you can visually see it, where the guy's like, I got you in a hole, you know, and your head's peeled back, and you can picture it right up here, you can picture it, it's like, it's like a horror movie, and that's, you know, that's where I'm at with it, you know, people can talk about feelings all they want, and feelings are fine. But people have tendencies and feelings to want to TCB, take care of business. You can't always do that. Because if you know what's wrong and right, you don't do it. But it's living vicariously through music. And I think death metal doesn't get the props that it deserves. It doesn't get the the love that it deserves I think that uh, a lot of the harmonics in music maybe sometimes today uh, it, it's an underbelly snake that has influenced uh, some of the music today and uh, that's what I think about death metal I think it's great like, share, subscribe, whatever. Um, you know what? 
I'm going to do this. I know it's kind of a bait and switch thing, but they do this in a lot of videos. I didn't do it on the last two, so I'm going to do it on this one. Um, name some death metal bands down below, and I'll check them out. You know, add them to my playlist. <laughs> anyway, have fun. Take care. Too sweet.